Let's get right to it, everybody. Today we're working on a Craftsman riding mower. They're pretty much all gonna be the same, but most of them, some of them may have some differences. Uh, placement, what kind of rectifier it asks for, stuff like that. Today we're gonna be replacing the diode, which is right here. Um, it also goes by the name of a rectifier, but it's very simple. Um, all you really have to do is cut out the old one, splice in a new one. Um, some of the issues that you may have with the bad one is either no charging or overcharging. Um, on this one, I was getting up as high as 16 volts, um, which is way too high for the battery. Battery is only 12 volts. Um, that can cause it to swell and even um, explode if it was going on for a prolonged time. What I'm gonna be doing is these connectors are really old and brittle, so I have uh, my own connectors. I'm going to just splice in a new one. So it'll make it a little bit easier. Um, you do have to leave a little bit of wire. Make sure that you leave as much as possible. I don't wanna mess with the whole harness. I just wanna change the part where the diode is, um, which is what I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, just strip the new wires and uh, we're just gonna solder them into place. And for the headlights, so basically the black wire is for your headlights, the red wire is the rectifier. These are the ones that I'm gonna be using. Um, I got these online, it was very cheap. The one that I'm gonna be using for my mower calls for the one and as a Nancy 5406. Um, and as you can see on the pack there, it came with about eight of them. But right here, you're just gonna splice in the new one. You're gonna, you could either solder it, you could use uh, connectors, whatever you're more comfortable with. I soldered them into place, and then I use these uh, heat shrinks that you could just, they actually have the solder already in them, pretty cool. But I did that, I did the one end. Apologize for not showing that side, I had a little bit of issues with it, um, but it's pretty much the same thing as what I'm doing here. I just attached the two wires, put the uh, soldering joint over, and then you just heat it up with either a heat gun. Um, for some reason, mine wasn't working, so I have to use like a lighter on the first part. But whatever works, I don't recommend using a lighter. It kind of ruins them. But you just use a heat gun. Uh, let's see here. And once it gets to a certain degree, the solder just melts onto the wires and then it sticks it together. And then the two ends that are blue right there will actually create a watertight seal on it. So it's pretty cool. Just one thing, make sure that when you are doing this method, you don't pull on it as soon as you're done. Give it a few seconds to dry, um, or not to dry, but to cool down and to uh, harden. And then you can kind of move it around and flex it. If you pull on it a little too early, it'll actually ruin it. And uh, you'll have to take it all apart and redo it again. But pretty much once you get the wires reconnected, you just plug it right back in the same way that it was before, just like that. And then you're golden, you're back to back to square one. So the red wire is the rectifier and then the black wire is gonna be for your headlights. So that's what those are on there for. So I'm just gonna find a spot to zip tie this and hang it out of the way. But let's go ahead and test it. We're at 3,900 RPMs. And as you can see, we got 13.8 volts, which the battery was kind of dying. So that is good. And that shows me that's charging. And as you bring the idle back down, the charging will come down a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it's not up at 16 volts anymore. So now we're all good.